Hello, and welcome to this ZTPFGI demonstration. In this demo, we'll look at how ZTPFGI can help you to manage your source files. You can browse files on your own computer via the PC Files window, which can be opened simply by clicking the PC Files button on the Home tab of the ribbon menu. Host files can be viewed in the Host Files window. So as not to overcrowd your workspace, ZTPFGI lets you choose which folders you would like to see in your host files window. At the moment, the window is empty, so let's add a folder to view. We can do this by right-clicking the host files window and selecting Add to View from the pop-up menu. This opens the Add to View dialog. Simply specify the host, user ID, folder, and if you require one, a mask. As an example, let's opt to view Make Files Only in the selected folder and its subfolders. Now, if we click OK, the specified folder will be added to the Host Files window with a mask that allows us to view Make Files Only. Each folder to which the mask has been applied is marked with the filter symbol. As you can see, only the make files are being shown. We can also add further masks to selected folders. As an example, let's add C source files to the RT folder by right-clicking the RT folder and opening the mask dialog. If we add a wildcard plus the C extension to the mask and click OK, we're able to view C files as well. We can remove masks to be able to see more files by right-clicking the appropriate folder, opening the Masks dialog and clicking the Remove button. The tree view shows the server and user ID followed by the folder that was requested in its subfolders and files. If you're currently only working on a subfolder, you can narrow the view to that subfolder. To do this, simply right-click the window and select Add to View again. Specify the folder of choice, then click OK, and the requested folder is added to view. Now, if you no longer want to see it, just right-click the folder that you're not working with and select Drop from View to remove the folder. You've narrowed your view to the specific folders that you're currently working with. The Files view makes it easy to navigate and manage your files. You can cut, copy and paste, or rename files, and you can create new files and folders or move them by dragging and dropping them. You can also view and edit a file or folder's properties via a Properties dialog. And you can delete files. The Files window can be expanded if needed to show the various columns. You can resize the columns by dragging the edge of the column headers and dropping them at the required width. You can also reposition the columns by dragging and dropping the column headers. And you can sort the files on different fields by clicking on the column headers. Click the same header again and the files are shown in descending order. Now let's reduce the size of the Files window and take a look at the Search feature. From the Files window's pop-up menu, you can search within multiple files for a search term. To do this, right-click the folder that you want to search within and select Search. Enter the search term, then specify if you want the search to be case-sensitive and if you want to recurse into subfolders. Search results are listed under the Find Compare tab of the Output window. They're listed by file path, then the line number. 
Double clicking a result will open the relevant file in the editor and take you to the relevant line within that file. Any lines that are in the search results are denoted as such by having a symbol in the margin. There are two host files windows and two PC files windows available for use if needed. There is also a projects window which you can use to create and manage projects. To find out more about this, please watch the projects demo. It's also possible for ZTPFGI to interface with your existing library system, in which case you can also view your library files via a library window. This allows you to easily get, edit and promote to source. You can navigate between the different file navigation windows by clicking on the tabs. Thanks for watching this demonstration of how ZTPFGI can help you to manage your files and folders, both on the host and locally on your PC. To find out more, please watch some of the other demos that are available, take a look at our brochure, or contact us for further information.